I was thinking just the other day, it has been absolutely ages since I've taken on any forms of redstone challenges lately. So I was doing some thinking and I was also rooting through some of your suggestions and I saw this one popping up. The challenge of not being able to place one of these guys, the repeater. Oh boy, I mean I rely on these things pretty heavily. I mean just look around this place, how many of these redstone contraptions do you think don't have any repeaters in them. I'm imagining it's probably in the single digits. I can't think of the last time I built a redstone contraption without a repeater. And just to make my life a tiny bit more difficult, I'm also not allowed to use comparators and observers as repeaters. So I can use them for their normal functions, but I can't use them as a replacement for repeaters because that would be really boring, wouldn't it? So let's jump right out of the gate here with a fairly tricky one, which is the triple piston extender. Normally I start off with the double, but triple, triple feels like the way to go. So I'm thinking if I put redstone torches next to all of these things and then have redstone there and there, Okay, so we're kind of going to have to alternate between these things so that we can actually power all of these pistons. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then we can run the redstone up and off like this for these ones and down and across like this for the ones on the bottom. Okay, my, my original idea was a total fail, but I think... <laughs> okay, so there is the triple piston extension. And then they all extend in totally the wrong order. So then we need to create some form of pulse extender to actually make it so that these things stay extended for long enough. So we need to take, I'm guessing, so if we run this out from here, and then we're going to need to run this through a serious quantity of, of torches. I mean, we could, we could kind of use a hopper system Maybe? That actually might be a good idea. Yeah, so inside this hopper right here, I've got 16 items. When I flick this lever, you can see that those 16 items gradually make their way into this hopper. Now, we probably don't actually need 16 items. In fact, we probably need something along the lines of maybe five or six. But then when we flick this lever... Okay, that's like a mega pulse extender. That's super useful. Yes, I think I might be onto something. Finally, I've managed to kind of get the hang of this thing. As you can see, we've got a bit of a mess of a circuit so far. But when we flick this lever down at the bottom, we get the full triple extension. And then we get this retraction pattern, which means now what we have to do is retract this block. So if we put a block out the front of this thing, all we have to do is do the first block retraction. So this retraction... Then we need to retract this piston back to here, and then we need to retract this piston once again, once it's back in this location. So it's a simple double piston extender, and hopefully I should be able to do that using observers and sticky pistons to create monostables. Now I'm just gonna go out there and say it. This is probably one of the fastest last block retractions I've ever created, and it's done entirely with redstone torches. So with that final piece of the puzzle, that should be our full triple piston extender working properly so there we go and there is the retraction there is the extension and there is the retraction maybe not the fastest but that last bit is just rapid that's <laughs> so so quick okay that's thing number one done now this one should be a fairly simple one but i just wanted to see if i could actually do it so let's just fix up any things that have gone wrong right here and I think we should be good to go so if i power this thing i'm very curious to see what happens here a mess. A mess is what happens. But that mess has actually fixed itself, which is even more peculiar. And this thing actually functions. There we go. There is a flush with the wall piston door built without any repeaters. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, okay, those ones are relatively easy. What about a working color combination lock that you can have multiple modules of? Oh, that's going to be tough. Okay, you won't believe this one, but... I think I might have done it. And I've done it in a fairly smart fashion. Look at that. Three blocks wide, no repeaters. That definitely looks like it would work. <laughs> so for our combination to be correct, we need both of these windows to be showing the fuchsia colour, that colour back there. So let's just go on through. Okay, so there's green. Okay, there it is. And then when we hit this button right here, we should see... Redstone lamp turns on. Nice. So these things actually function. 
pretty nicely and pretty fast as well. I mean, did you see that? And to top it all off, with this setup behind me, you get 64 possible combinations, which isn't exactly groundbreaking, but if you were to build another one, then you'd get 64 times 8, which would be around about 480. That's a very rough approximation. And then if you were to add another module, then you'd times 480 by 8. So that would be, what, around about 4,000? Maybe? Yes, I think, potentially. You know, my, my quick fire maths isn't particularly good, but you, you get the idea. These combinations add up quickly. Anyway, that's enough of that maths nonsense. Now it's time to get our hands on a real challenge. And it is going to be a bit of a tough one. 3x3 three three piston door. I feel like we can do it. If we just have this and then this set up here. I mean, double extension. I oh, know, single extension, retraction, move out the way, double extension, retraction, and then on the opposite end, extension, extension, extension. How hard can it be? He says confidently. Okay, the good news is, is that I've just come up with this little gem of a redstone circuit which is our double piston extender, so that's all good. And then if we wanted to do just a single extension, can we do something along the lines of this? Hmm. I suppose we can just power it from the other side, so that shouldn't be a problem. I don't mean to blow my own trumpet, but things are going pretty well so far. I mean, <laughs> my normal 3x3 three three piston doors don't tend to work this quickly. <laughs> Well, to say I'm chuffed is an understatement. Please tell me this works. If this works, the entire system will be so, so fast. So we've got... Okay, so that's just retracting the blocks and then... Oh my word! <laughs> now would you look at that? There's no messing around going on there. That has gone horribly successfully. Brilliant, okay, so now we just have to do all of the blocks going around the outside, which for anyone that's built a three by three piston door will know is the easiest part of the process. And that will be this thing all completed. I can't believe that. Not only have we built a three by three piston door that actually works, but we've built a three by three piston door that is actually in sync, which is, I mean, for those of you who have watched any of my previous challenge videos, that's very impressive. <laughs> uh, generally speaking, if we build a piston door in one of the challenge videos, it, it is just disgusting to watch. You get blocks retracting in weird orders. For example, it will go like, uh, 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 and it will all be very, very slow. This one is real fast and actually quite nice looking. If it wasn't so big, I'd probably consider building it in my base, but I'm sure, I'm sure at least some of you will be able to compact it down. Why not? Why not? Let's go for it. Four by four piston door, let's do this. As I'm getting the hang of this, life is getting a lot easier. So here is the double piston extender circuit. We just need this redstone torch here and that will do the trick. So this should function now if we hit this button. There we go. And then on this side, we have got another circuit, which is just going to be our single retraction. So that will allow us to do the double block retraction. I actually think that we could breeze through this. Obviously that was quite optimistic. I, I don't want to say words like that because four by four doors are difficult at the best of times, let alone when you can't use repeaters. But I think, okay, there's a chance that we're coming close. So if we have, okay, we need to place an item inside this dropper right here. So on the opposite edge of this, we should get something interesting happen. So we should see these blocks retract and then these pistons retract those blocks out of the way. Yes. And then all we have to do is we have to run the output from this, which kind of cycles around here into the input of the double piston extender, which we can probably do a little bit like that. Now this is going to be a tiny bit rough around the edges, but I think that should maybe do the trick. Oh, that's the input to the double piston extender. Okay, let's not do that. Uh, so that runs out round there and out round here. So we need to run redstone torch out from the side of this thing 
And then we need to run it across like this. And into the side of this block. And that should, as I say, just about do it. So if we place in these blocks, that should connect all of those up. And then if we flick our lever, we should see a full retraction. So that's going to extend those blocks. Whoa! Yes! Oh my word! <laughs> because I really enjoy this sort of thing, I'm trying my best to keep the circuitry as compact as possible so you can see that we're working within... What, a six block space? Yeah, six blocks, and I'm trying to stay up against this edge right here, but I don't know if it's working. Okay, so there is all of the opening circuitry. And the closing. Right. All we have to do is fire those pistons in between those two piston pulses. And it could be as simple as just wiring that in. Let's see. That was actually too fast, was it? Yeah, it was too fast. Um, okay, that's not the problem that I expected. What can we do about that? Maybe, maybe add in... Oh, this is gonna be difficult. How how do I fix that? I think finally we might have actually got there. After a lot of redevelopments and a ton of wiring changes, let's give this a go. So if we place the blocks in this door here, you can see there is the opening, all very nice, and then yes! There it is. Okay, so that is one half. Obviously, I'll copy and paste the other half over and we'll have ourselves a fully functioning 4x4 piston door with no repeaters. And I've got to say, in its full and finished form, this thing looks pretty monstrous, doesn't it? What a machine. What an absolute machine. But I think that just about wraps everything up for today. No repeaters redstone episode. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please show to that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.